algorithms divide and conquer Karatsuba, offered by Stanford Crowd Cowers Initiative. Divide and rule military strategy. Divide and rule or divide and conquer in politics and sociology is gaining and maintaining power by breaking up larger concentration of power into pieces that individually have less power than the one implementing this strategy. The concept, the, the concept refers to a strategy that uh, breaks up existing power structures and especially prevents smaller power groups from linking up, causing uh, rivalries and fomenting discord among the people. Historically, uh, this strategy was used uh, in many different ways by empires uh, seeking to expand their territories. Divide and conquer algorithmic technique. The first uh, major algorithmic technique is divide and conquer. Part of the trick of making a go divided and conquer algorithm algorithm is determining how a, how a given problem could be separated into two or more similar but smaller subproblems. More generally, when we are creating a debate and conquer algorithm, we will take the three following steps. One, Given a problem, identify a small number of significantly smaller subproblems of the same type. This is divide. 2. Solve each uh, subproblem recursively. The smallest possible size of a subproblem is, uh, is called a base case. 3. Combine these uh, solutions into a solution for the main problem. The uh, landscape of divide and conquer technique is here. We can see a list of uh, topics typically addressed by the methodology divide and conquer. We will develop the approach Karatsuba for multiplication of integers and the problem of, of a closest pair of points. Karatsuba fast multiplication. If you want to perform arithmetic with small Integers, we can simply use the built-in arithmetic hardware of our machine. However, if we wish to multiply integers larger uh, than those that will fit in the to a standard war integer size of our computer, we will have to implement a multiplication algorithm in software or use a software implementation written with someone else. For example, encryptions need to work with integers of very, very large size. Large in relation of 64-bit word size of many machines. And uses special multiplication algorithms. Typically, multiplying to n digit numbers require n square multiplication and some additions. Let's see if a divide a conquer strategy can give us a something better. One road we might want to try is breaking the integers up into two parts. For example, the integer x can be divided into two parts, x sub h and x sub l, for the high order and low order halves of x. But from this division in the most part, 
it's not clear how we can multiply multiply these parts such that we can combine the results for the solution to the main problem. For example, let's write x and i where we use such a system. Step by step. Let's see if I divide a conquer can give uh, us uh, to us something better. In the left column, we can see each of the steps followed uh, by this method. And the right column shows the cost in terms of runtime. At the very end, we add each of these terms. But we do not improve anything at all. We still have our running times in terms of n square, as we can see in the next slide. We can use the master theorem to analyze the running time of this algorithm. Assuming the algorithm running time is Tn, the comment showed uh, how much time each step takes. Finally, we have, after all of that hard work, we're still no better uh, than of uh, a school algorithm, but we have an idea. The Karachuba insight is instead for the problems, we only need three. Using uh, uh, this uh, structure uh, of the Karachuba, the approach uh, we can clearly see a, a scheme, a scheme uh, divide and conquer, replacing the initial process complexity of n squared in n to log 3. Consider the difference in speed for a large n. Assuming that we replace two or two of the multiplications with only one makes the program faster. The question is how fast? Karachuba improves the multiplication process by replacing the initial complexity of O n squared by O to log 3, which, uh, as we can see in the diagram, is much faster for big n. Is we think of applications uh, such as uh, cryptography? which handles multiplications really huge numbers. Graphic helps uh, help us to perceive the improvement in random we get. The more complex greater improvement, higher n, is the problem. We can see an example for multiplication two numbers of n equal to 4, separating subproblems, multiplicating high halves in A1 and low halves in D1. Substituting uh, the four multiplications in three multiplications. In, a, in, a, in the point of E1, we need two records. First, divide. So, problem is this. The division is this. The solution in the first 
subpart is this. Second subproblem. The third subproblem is uh, divided in the lower uh, level, obtaining the new answer. And the final answer is combining all the partial results in a final, final, final solution.